Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to take a look at the Pixel C100 LED light. This is a cob light. It is 120 watts, but we're going to unbox it, check it out, try it out, see how it performs, and here we go. All right, so here is the box. It's pretty big, so we're not going to do my top-down shot today. We're just going to open the box up and uh, see everything that comes in it. So let's go ahead and unbox it. It's uh, all taped up, so I'm going to need my knife here. I have my uh, my unboxing knife. This is the Civivi Pintail there, if we can see that. Let's see if we can get that in focus there for all those that are interested. This is my, uh, my unboxing knife. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, open this bad boy up and uh and see what it's going to look like um they did an excellent job of taping this thing up i'll say that much so there is plenty of tape so let's go ahead and uh and cut through this tape so that we can uh, we can get into it and yeah um now i'm gonna make sure to put this away because well i don't want to cut myself because this thing is incredibly incredibly sharp so let me uh get that there all right now let's open that up there and fold those out there and let's see so it looks like everything's going to come in a nice case very nice all right so you may see that there it's going to come in one big case so let's pull that out set that there toss that box off to the side and let's get this out of the plastic here because well we don't need the plastic and in fact we're going to recycle this plastic because i'm going to send it to the grocery store so um yeah all right I'd like to take my plastic bag to the plastic bag recycling bin at the grocery store. So, um, yeah. All right. So on the back, uh, it's plain here, as we can see. But on the front here, we can see where it says Pixel. Some nice branding there if that's something that you're interested in. You know, it's nice if you have different lights. I have actually a couple of different cob lights. So it's nice to know which light is in which case. So there's something to be said for that. Um, but let's see here. If I open this front pocket up, see if there's anything in there. No, but this is really nice. It actually folds out like this and it has these straps that hold it in place. Now you can undo these, it looks like, or you can loosen them. So if you want them to come down and lay flat, you can do that, but you don't have to. So um, yeah, uh, also there is um, on the front, on the front here, there is this sort of netting here. So you can put stuff in here, whether it be batteries or filters or whatever else. So you can put that in there. So, all right, let's go ahead and zip that up because we don't need that right away. And uh, we have the two straps on here. This one here actually has Velcro on it so that you can actually put the two straps together and then fold it like that and keep the two straps there. So if you're you know, if you're taking it from one place to the other, you don't want the straps getting caught on anything. It's nice to have that. So, all right, let's get this opened up so we can actually take a look at the light here. We'll open this. Oh, same thing. Look at that. It opens up. It's very much, it reminds me of like a picnic basket there. So, um, we are going to get a few things in here. It looks like we're going to have, um, it looks like we're going to have the instruction manual here. Well, that's pretty nice. And yeah, so we'll set that there. Um, and then something in here, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but let's go ahead and take it out. And oh, first things first, what do we have? We have silica gel. <laughs> All right, let's take this. Oh, this is going to be the remote control. So. All right, there we go. You know, this thing feels really solid. I think it actually has a built-in battery so that you don't need to change. Oh, you know what it does? It looks like it has a, uh, it looks like it has one of these, um, it takes one of these sort of uh, C something or the other, like C32 batteries or something. But yeah, so here is the remote control right there. If we can, uh, if we can check that out. So it looks like it's gonna be a very nice remote control there. So um, yeah. It's going to have a power button, channel button, a group button, and brightness levels, and it has a dial and a, uh, and a selector button in the middle there. So, all right, let's set this off to the side for the moment. And we then have this flap here that sort of folds over right there, which is kind of nice. And inside is where we're going to have the light in all of, the, all of its gloriousness. So well, let's see right there. We have the light right there. Now, the light is... is pretty sizable. So um, we get a power cord right there, which we're going to have. So we'll take that power cord out. Um, it looks like we're going to have another power cord. It looks like we're getting two of them. One of them, 
must be, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, you know what? This one is for uh, the Europeans. So this one has a European plug on there. And then this one here is a three prong for the, uh, for the US. So three prong and a European two prong or, and it looks like there's an adapter on there. So if you're from other, some other part of the world, you can use it there too. So um, we're gonna get, uh, it looks like some barn doors. So we have barn doors and um, I think there's something else in here. Let me see. It feels a little, just feels a little heavy for just barn doors. So um, yeah, it's barn doors. Yeah, so it's just the barn doors. All right, so they're just very solid barn doors. So we'll set that up over there. Um, oh, you know what? Here we go. We all, we do have some other stuff here. It looks like we have a, uh, it looks like we have a honeycomb grid, which I absolutely love. These are great for focusing the light so that you get a nice narrow beam of light. Um, we also have a couple of, uh, a few drop-in filters here. It looks like we're going to have uh, green here. We are also going to get uh, blue, so that's nice there. We are going to have yellow that we can use. And last but not least, we have red there. So we're gonna get all of those that we can use and the drop-in filters, uh, drop-in, we get the drop-in filters and then we also get the, uh, the honeycomb grid. So I'm gonna use that grid and try that out in a minute because I actually, uh, I put basically grids on all my lights. I have two lights on either side of me right now. Both of them have uh, eggshell grids on there to, to focus the beam, to focus the light on me and not to spill off onto my background so much because I'm not very far away. I mean, my background's just right there. I can touch that right there. So I need to make sure that I don't have a bunch of harsh shadows right behind me. So, all right, let's see what else we have in here. So we're gonna pull this out. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I guess we'll figure that out in a minute. And we have the, uh, it looks like we have the, the power brick here. This is what's going to plug in to, uh, into the light. And then the other part goes into the wall. So we'll have that there. And what else do we have? looks like we have a strap. This is gonna be for the camera bag itself. And yeah, and then last, but certainly not least, we have the light. And yeah, all right, so we'll, we'll set, oh, this is another strap of some sort. I'm not sure what this is for, but we have another strap. But here is the light. And I was expecting this because of the size, I thought it was gonna be a lot heavier. It's not, it's actually really, really light. I mean, it, it has metal construction on here, but it's really, really, that's sort of a metal plastic mix. So like the body of it right here is metal. The, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the light stand uh, mount right there is metal, but the, uh, the lock part right there, the twist lock is, is plastic. This right here is actually metal. Um, this part, the handle right there is plastic. This part's plastic. Um, the Bowens mount release button right here, that's plastic. And that is, it also comes obviously with, um, with a dish right there, a reflector dish so that you can use that. And then this is the cob light right there. If we can take a look at that, you can get a look at the cob light. So yeah. That is, uh, that is what we can expect from it. And again, this is a Bowens mount, so it makes it very, very easy to use with other, uh, with other Bowens mount, um, you know, accessories. So um, yeah, that's, a, that's just everything that comes with it. That is the uh, unboxing part of it. So let's go ahead. Um, one thing you're not gonna get with this light that you'll, which you will need is a, uh, a light stand. So if you don't have a light stand, and you plan on ordering this light, make sure you order a light stand to go along with it. Otherwise you won't really have much use for this light. You won't be able to really use it because you'll need a way to actually mount the light. So, all right, with that said, let's go ahead and actually get this onto a light stand so that we can actually try it out and see how it's gonna perform. All right, so I have the light set up here. I have it powered on. I have the, uh, the barn doors connected here to the reflector. Now, I'm not a big fan of the barn doors on here, the way that it connects. I really wish there was a simpler way. I've seen some of them that have sort of like these metal sort of snap to things that just snap right over the, uh, the reflector. These ones have screws where you have to sort of uh, screw it in there, but once it's on there, it's locked on. So I would probably just leave this reflect, uh, the barn doors on there. Um, I have the, uh, the spot grid on here right now. You can just simply take that off 
and there you go and it drops back in you also have these filters where if you want to put these in you simply drop them in there and there you go you can now drop them in so it's very simple also with the remote you can go ahead and turn this on and off with the remote it comes already paired up there's a battery inside of it you just hit that turn it on we can see right there we will get that uh, with the red filter we can take that off and you'll see how bright that is we can also go ahead and put this uh, put the spot grid on there and that will narrow the light right there so yeah um, you can also use the other uh, the other gels there so we can drop those in and we can get a yellow there we can also go ahead and get the uh, we can use the blue one here so let's go ahead and drop the blue one in and there we go we can get the blue and uh, last but not least we have the uh, we have the green one here that you can use for the green so yeah there is that so again with the remote you can go ahead and uh, and turn it off and it's really just that simple so um, all right now that I have uh, now that I have this on a light stand I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually turn these main lights off that I have in here and I'm going to go ahead and set this one up and then turn it on and we'll see what this looks like. Actually, I think, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do that. So let me go ahead and, uh, and set this one up in the right position and we'll see how it looks. All right, so I went ahead and hooked up the light. I have it right there and I'm going to go ahead and turn off my main light here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off right now and we can see there that it's off. So now what we are seeing is just my accent lights. I have the background lights there. I have a couple little lights on my table and my, uh, my colored uh, light right there. It's a little light bar. But let me go ahead and turn on this main light right here. Hit that and boom, look how bright that is. That is absolutely incredible. Now mind you, that is at 1%. This thing is incredibly bright. That is at only 1%. Now, if I turn this up here, I'm gonna turn this up to say uh, 10%, that's 10%, that's way, way too bright. Now, if I go up to say 25%, I mean, I'm completely washed out. If I go up to 50% here and get there, let's see, let's go to 50, 50%, I mean, you can't even really tell, just, you can't see me, I'm looking white. And, and now if I go up to 100%, that's just completely washed out, no detail in my face at all. So. But we can see the light pattern. We can see how narrow of a light pattern we have here with those uh, with that spot grid. So let me turn this back down. Let me that's off right there. I'll put it up to one percent, and that's one percent there. So now if I turn this other light back on, it adds in some feel on that side there. So yeah, this thing's really really bright, especially in comparison. This other light right here is at 35% right now. Now this light is in a soft box with a spot grid on there, so that's gonna knock down some of the light, but 1% on this light, I'm sure it's far brighter than that one. So anyways, one last thing that I wanna try out is, I wanna go ahead and just point this up at the, uh, the actually, you know what, one thing I wanna do is, I'm gonna turn everything off. I'm gonna turn all these lights off and I'm gonna go ahead and just use just this one and see what it looks like with just the one light on me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and point it at the ceiling and see what it looks like if it has enough juice to fill up the entire room when it's bounced off the ceiling. So let's go ahead and turn everything off and then turn this one on and just have a single light beam coming at me. All right, so all the lights are off in here. Let's go ahead and uh, pop it on. And there we go. We can see right there. Yeah, that's it. So if you ever wanted one of those kind of cool videos where there's just one beam of light coming and hitting your subject right in the face and everything falls off, you could do that. Now, if I had more room behind me, I can get this to fall off completely black. So you can see on this side how it's really, really dark. You can't, I mean, really over here, you can't even see my hand anymore. It's like I have to pull it in close because it just sort of goes into darkness completely. So if I had more space behind me so that the light wasn't bouncing off the wall, I can actually get this light to fall off. I probably could even get it if I put it up higher and put the beam coming down so it fell right behind me. I could probably actually get this to, uh, to make the whole background go black. So yeah, this is very cool. You can see from this angle, I have just this little bit of light right here and then it just falls off right behind me. So yeah, this is, this is very, very cool. 
And this is just using that little spot grid. So yeah, anyways, let's go ahead now and point this at the ceiling and see what it's gonna look like if it will fill up the entire room. All right, so we're in pitch black again. Let's go ahead and turn on the light that's pointed at the ceiling. And there we go, that is it right there. And we can see that it is, uh, it's, it's not the most pleasant light. It's, you know, because there's shadows on my face and all that, but it's lighting up the space well enough. Um, and again, this is just pointing up at the ceiling as we can see the light right there is just pointing right up at the ceiling. And it's, uh, yeah, it's at 100% right now. So if we were to turn this down, let's say we dropped it down to like 50%. There, let me see, there we go. That is 50% right there. If we dropped it down to 25%, we can see it gets even darker. And if we go down to say uh, 10%, that's 10% right there. And we can drop it down to 1%, that's 1% right there. So yeah, not much light at all. But if we go back up to 100%, then there we go, that's 100%. Now, if I turn this light on again, this one that they'll add a little bit of a kicker in there and fill up some space, there we go. So yeah, you could use this if you wanted to to fill up the, the, uh, the room and sort of bounce it off the ceiling. It would probably be better if you had two of those pointing up, bouncing off. You could probably fill up a large space with a lot of light. So, but yeah, anyways, there you have it. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is my longer than expected review of the Pixel C100 Cobb light, Cobb video light. Cobb means chip on board. So as we saw, this is just the one large chip that you have on there, the one large LED chip. So um, yeah, I have to say that it, it, it's fantastic. I really, really like this light. It's, it's really lightweight. It's much lighter than I thought it was gonna be. The light's a little bit big, so I thought it was gonna be uh, heavy, but it's actually not. And it's really not that big once you take off the reflector. It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty small or not big light at all. And so um, it's quiet, it's lightweight, it's super duper bright. It's a, it's a 120 watt light. And as we can see right now how bright it is, this is at 1%. This light right now is at 1%. So if you're gonna be using this light for, uh, for stuff like I'm doing right here, you're probably gonna to wanna to go ahead and get some diffusion, whether it be a softbox or an umbrella or something so that you can diffuse this light because I am fairly dark skinned and this is just way too much uh, light. It's just too much intensity. It's way too bright. And if you have someone who's fair skinned or white, it's gonna completely blow them out and they'll just be washed out altogether. So yeah. Anyways, it's very nice. Comes with some accessories like the barn doors, the spot grid, the, uh, we have the color gels that you can use. There is a remote control that you can use to control the light, to turn it off. You can turn it back on. You can increase the intensity or decrease the intensity on there. You can use multiple lights together and have, a, have groups of them and have these on different channels and control them all with the same remote. So there's all kinds of stuff that you can do with these lights. They're pretty fantastic. Um, there's a couple things I don't like about it. One, there's no way to use this with a battery right out of the box. You'll have to get some other sort of external power source in order to use this with a battery if you want to take these on the go somewhere, if you want to be a, take them portable outside or wherever. Also, um, if you're pointing the light up, if you have the light pointed up too much, the power cable will come out. It'll just fall out because the power brick is weighted, has too much weight to it, and there's no way for the, uh, for the power cable to sort of stick in to the, to the light, so it just comes out. So you, there's a little basket that we saw on the, on the unboxing, and that little basket actually holds the power brick, and that will allow you to have some slack on the cable so it doesn't come out. So you really need to use it if you're pointing the light straight up. Um, if you're not, it's, it'll work just fine. If you just have it pointed down or just straight, it'll, it'll work just fine without the basket. So yeah. Anyways, that's it you guys, everybody, you guys, you girls, men, women, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. I'm gonna leave a link to this product down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave a link to my Amazon page and all my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.